Hello and welcome to the continuation of the Unleashing System Verilog and EVM video series. My name is James Chang. I am a senior staff instructor at Synopsys. I'll be showing you the power of the EVM reporter in this video. As you verify your device and test, you need to report the observed simulation activities. You need to report what's happening on the input side, what kind of response is being generated, and whether or not the device and the test operated on the transactions correctly. You can use System Verilog's dollar display, dollar warning, dollar error, dollar fatal, and UVM's sprint mechanism to issue these reports. The problem is that the System Verilog report message mechanism is uncontrolled, resulting in all the messages printing all the time. After a while, you're so overwhelmed by all these messages, you don't even know where to start to look for information. What we need is a control report mechanism that will allow us to choose what we want to see and filter out what we don't care about. Another consideration during simulation, what happens if an error was detected? If it was a fatal error, you would typically want to kill the simulation in system VLOG one to call dollar finish or dollar fatal at that point. But what if the error was intentional? Because you wanted to do an error injection and see what happens afterwards. The fact that you embedded a code to dollar finish or dollar fatal in your code will cause the simulation to be killed at this point. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to demote the severity of the message to either an error or warning without touching the code? This is what the UVM reporter mechanism gives you. The UVM reporter mechanism is one of four service mechanisms you get when you import the UVM package. It is simple to implement using the provider macro. The reporter mechanism will give you the ability to control the report severity, verbosity, and action. On top of that, you'll be able to view these messages in the debugger waveform. Let's take a look at the macro. The first part of the UVM report macro is the severity of the message. Each predefined severity in the UVM has a default action associated with it. For the UVM info severity, the default action is UVM display, meaning that the message will be displayed without any other simulation consequences. Within the macro, the first argument is the ID field. This will be used for filtering on messages. You'll see that in a little while. The second argument is the message field. Whatever you want to display should be embedded here as a string. The third argument is the velocity to which the message belongs. The term velocity means amount of messages. There are six possible velocities in UVM. UVM provides a runtime switch to let the user choose the velocity of the message during simulation. If I set the velocity to UVM low, then what I'm saying is that I want to see low amount of messages. Therefore, the messages set at high level velocities are filtered out. If you do not specify the velocity, the default is UVM medium, meaning that you will see UVM medium, UVM low, and UVM non messages. The UVM high, UVM full, and UVM debug messages are filtered out. Let's implement this in actual code. Instead of using the system VLOG dollar display to print a message, change it to UVM info macro. Notice in this example, the message is set to be part of the high velocity. What this means is that if you do not specify the velocity during simulation, the message will be filtered out. It is as though you never typed the code. However, during debugging, you can turn it on with a runtime switch in an object-by-object -object basis. The runtime switch to do this is called UVM set velocity. The first argument to the switch is the object that you want to control. The second argument is the ID of the message that you want to control. The third argument is the velocity that you want the object to report at. In this case, I want the scoreboard object to report at high velocity for the match ID messages. The last argument is the simulation time that you want the object to act on for this velocity. This last argument can also be specified on a phase-by-phase -phase basis. In addition to the UVM info macros, there are three macros for issuing failure messages, a fatal, 
error, and warning severities. These macros are set to EVM none vivacity. Users are not allowed to specify the vivacity with the macro. What this means is that you cannot filter out the failure messages with the EVM vivacity switch. By setting the switch to EVM none, you can filter out messages at vivacity higher than EVM none, but you cannot filter out the EVM none messages. These failure severities also have simulation actions associated with them. For the fatal severity, the associated action is the termination of simulation immediately after the message is displayed. For the error severity, the associated action is the increment of an error count. User can then specify the count at which to terminate simulation. The warning severity has the same default simulation as the info severity. Let's apply these failure severity macros. Instead of calling the system value dollar fatal or dollar finish, let's make use of the UVM fatal macro. When a failure is detected, the UVM fatal macro will terminate simulation after printing the message, just like the system value dollar fatal. The difference is you can now manage the report messages externally without modifying the existing code. Let's take error injection as an example. Even though the original severity is fatal, we can easily change it to error with the simple runtime switch called EVM set severity. In this example, we're demoting the fatal to an error severity and terminating the simulation after three errors. Sometimes during the bring up process of the device in a test, portions of designs are just not working and you don't care about it at that time. You may want to disable the failure report messages for that part of the design. You can do this easily with the UVM set action switch. In this example, I'm telling the reporter to do nothing in the scoreboard object when a fatal error is encountered. On top of this, you can also see these report messages in the debugger waveform window. This is very helpful during the debugging process. Please consult with your EDA vendor to see how this feature works in their simulator and debugger. In summary, EVM Reporter is one of four EVM service mechanisms that you get when you import the EVM package. The EVM Reporter mechanism is simple to implement and provide you with full user control over vivacity, severity, and action with full visibility in the debugger waveform window. This is the power of UVM Reporter. So where should you go from here? This is how you can pace your journey into the system VLOG in EVM world. First, build a solid foundation in system VLOG, then become familiar with the UVM concepts. Finally, pick up debugging techniques from your coworkers and friends. Synopsis can help you in building a solid foundation with hands-on training. For verification, we have workshops on system VLOG test bench Assertion, and UVM. In North America, our full-time instructors have over 60 years of industry experience in design, verification, training, and participates in IEEE standard committees. We can also customize our offerings for your needs. For more information and to register for classes, please visit this website. This video is part of a series designed to give you an overview of what System Vlog and UVM are all about. Don't forget to watch the rest of the series. We are planning to release more videos in the coming months. Please give us your feedbacks and let us know what else you would like to learn in verification languages and methodology. Thank you for watching.